welcome. Um, this is my father's house, Ashcombe Tower. My father, Brigadier Sir Rafe Rayner, built this in 1935. And this is where I was born in that year. Yeah, from this window we've got a magnificent view some 80 miles out across the ocean. And interestingly, when I was just the age of nine, I built a tree house in that tree out there and saw a German Heinkel bomber come past just underneath on its way to bomb the local city. A year later, at the end of May 1945, I and my sister Fleur remember distinctly my father returning from Germany with two amazing pieces of Hitler's personal possessions. My father was second in command of all the communications in 21st Army Group of Field Marshal Montgomery's Army in Germany. And when he signed the peace treaty on the 5th of May at Lüneburg Heath in Germany, Montgomery sent my father to meet the Russians as they fought their way into Berlin. Yes, my father found uh, the opposite number, his opposite number, in the Russian army and the head of their communications invited my father, amazingly, to go down into Hitler's bunker, being the first person other than the Russian probably ever to enter it. In the bunker, my father was taken both to Eva Braun or Eva Hitler's quarters and also to Hitler's. Beside Eva Braun's bed was a black telephone, which was very appropriate as a gift, as a trophy of war. But my father refused it because he knew and saw that Hitler had a red telephone by his bed and he loved the colour red. This is the amazing trophy of the red telephone, which my father took from the bunker and which probably, in fact, without doubt, was used by Hitler. Rockus Misch, Hitler's personal telephonist who died in Berlin only a few years ago, confirmed that this was Hitler's personal telephone for the last two years of his life. The Siemens telephone was presented to Hitler by the Wehrmacht by two of their most senior officers, of which we have a photograph. The telephone was built by Siemens and they confirmed that it was built for the German Wehrmacht, who themselves coloured it red and then had it inscribed with the German swastika and eagle and the name Adolf Hitler, probably the only instrument or artefact with his full name on it, as an instrument, it was then used, no doubt, as a cell phone and went wherever Hitler uh, was travelling. The, the telephone is specially built so that the handset will not come off the cradle without being tilted. In other words, it wouldn't shake off in the command vehicle. Also, it is most interesting that the cable here had looped ends to it and that meant that it could be plugged in wherever Hitler went. My father, before he left the bunker, was also presented with a white porcelain Alsatian dog, which had been presented to Hitler, apparently, by the German police force and probably by Himmler himself, who ran the Alsace uh, porcelain factory, which happened to be in Dachau concentration camp. The Alsatian, uh, which was later given to my sister, is vividly remembered again by my sister when my father returned from Germany. And she remembers my father saying this was actually given to him as he left the bunker in Berlin. 